Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander throwdown. My name is Wheeler and joining me today I got a Surge. Hello. And a Ben on. For having me. Appreciate being here. If you're going to interrupt me, you, you, do it right. Were you going to throw to me or not? Well, thank you for having me. Uh -huh. It is great to be here. That's your line. And I'm Ben. <laughs> and Ben's on. Stay out of this. No, okay. sorry. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Dads are fighting. <laughs> I mean, my own line. I'm workshopping my own line here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're okay, okay. Not to step on your toes. Thank you. If you would like to support. Uh, and speaking of toes. <laughs> That's different. If you want to see our toes, go over to patreon.com yeah. slash loading ready rod. New tier. New tier. It's about time. Um, it's because of all that that we're able to do all this and so much more. And if you want to see uh, what we are doing, you can look at the description down below to find more information on the format and the deck lists we are playing today. I am playing Selesnia Idiots. It is green, white, Every watch wolf dot deck. Um, yeah, my four drops are bigger idiots and <laughs> Armageddon's. Oh no, yeah. that's rude. Yeah, this deck's very, I don't know if you can call this rude. Well, I look at my hand now, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, this is good, good magic. This is good old fashioned magic. Uh, my points are Mox, Mox, Strip, and Umeza was Jite. Nice. Yeah. What about you? I brought Food Fight. After 10,000 years, this deck that we've been talking about on the podcast for years is finally going to see the light of day. Uh huh. Is it any good? I got no idea, but the name is sweet. And this is such a weird synergy deck. Mm -hmm. Turns out they printed a lot of cards that make food and care about food and care about gaining three life or some amount of life. It's not quite ruin your evening levels or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll see how it comes together. And what are your points? My points are Mox, Mox, and Demonic Tutor. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing the, so I'm a three color deck. I'm playing uh, the Mox Emerald and the Mox Jet. No mm. white Mox. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you have any copies of Food Fight in your deck? I, I'm not playing exactly Food Fight, okay. no. All right, well. A little, little, little disappointed, I know, I apologize. That's, that's fine. I mean, maybe as a splash, but. Okay, uh, now, <laughs> what happened, Serge? So I, uh, I tell Wheeler, we should roll the dice on camera so that people could see what happens. Mm. But then we're looking at our sevens and deciding whether we should keep or not. I'm like, you know what? Turns out you actually need to know if you're going to keep your hand or not, or if you're going to, you know, who's, who's on the play before yeah. you keep a hand. So like, whatever, let's roll. I roll a four, Wheeler rolls an 11. And then I proceed to demonstrate to Surge, and Ben, if you'll indulge me and go to the overhead shot, of a way that I roll because I used to roll like this uh, and then shoot and people were still like, there's no way. There's just no way. So I started rolling like this. Oh, and I, got I could have finally won. <laughs> yeah, you could have won if we did it He on hasn't camera. rolled under 10 prior to this moment. After winning the die roll for the match, I did proceed to roll three rolls above 10. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, my He's hand... cheating! He's cheating! No, 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 look at this, look at this. See? Totally normal roll. Uh, I'm gonna play a Elvish Mystic and then pass the turn. An Elvish Mystic and then pass the turn, yeah. I accept. Uh, I'm going to go with a... Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna lead with a Bayou into a Death right shaman Ooh, okay. I block sure. go ahead just don't play an exalted creature then i have to reevaluate mm. oh this just got tough um yeah i kind of like this this plan that i have here i'm going to march of otherworldly light for one on your death right and I'm going to hit you for one. Uh, I can't block because you killed my creature. Go ahead. Untap, draw for the turn. We're going to play a Wooded Foothills. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go down to 18 and find a white source. Probably a Savannah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I really need to learn the old, um, was it AC who did the thing? Where you like fan out and hold that? AP, yeah. 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 There's a player in the community who had this amazing technique. Whenever they tutor, they'd flip over their deck, they'd just like blah, find the card, and then put it back. It was so clean. They looked like a magician. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll finish shuffling in just a second here. I've got a white and a green casting a Samwise Ganji. Two mana, two, two legendary halfling peasant. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a food token, mm -hmm. sacrifice three food, return target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Pass. Untap. Draw. I am going to play a Caracas. <laughs> I am going to Caracas <sighs> Samwise. All right. Uh, gonna, let's just take all the legends in my hand and set them off to the side there. Got to cast a Tarmogoyf. Yeah. And then I'm going to cast a Noble Hierarch and pass. Oh, buckets. Good old-fashioned magic. Good old-fashioned. He dares to say... This deck does remind me of um, just like a legacy deck that you would play in 2014 because it gives you enough plausible deniability if you lose, right? You just like, you lose, like Maverick. You lose with Maverick and you're like, oh, well, I was playing Tarmogoyfs and Elves. Like, what could I do? <laughs> and so I wasn't, I didn't have Force Wolves. <laughs> How do I want to sequence this? We're going to go with a Bloodstained Mire. Yep. Uh, I'm going to tap and play my own Noble Hierarch. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to pass the turn. Interesting. Draw. <clears throat> going to play a Windswept Heath. Yeah. And I am going to go to combat. Mm. So currently attacking as a 2 3 will have exalted, so a 3 4. Yeah. Uh, I think that's fine. Sure. I, I'll take 3 and go to 15. It's just one food. It's uh, one food. Go ahead. All right, end step. I'm going to crack this, grab the other dual land I have, which is a scrub land. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be maybe an odd call. I have an Assassin's Trophy. Okay. I'm going to destroy a Caracas. Okay. Which I I have so many legends in my hand. I can't not cast my spells. Yeah. So uh, Chivo unlocked. Both players are searching right now. And I'd be really curious to hear your thoughts after the fact about that. Uh, I mean, it's like if you had Besage you, right? Yeah. Would you besage you my Caracas? I mean, besage you, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Assassin's Trophy is like top tier removal, and I'm like getting beaten to death by this Goyf, so it's a little awkward. Yeah, it's, but, that's understandable. Yeah, so you got access to six mana and you pass the turn, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> You're fine. You All right, untap. Draw for the turn. It's an odd draw. Uh, we're going to cast Samwise Ganji. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to cast a Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. Make a food token. Yep. Pass me a food token. Somehow my massive stack of tokens here. Hold on. Yeah. You brought a food deck. Yeah. And you oh, don't no, have no, a food no, no, token? No, 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 no. There it is. There it is. I, was, I would have been shocked if I didn't, right? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> that would have been an all That's why I was looking through that and being like, something's wrong here. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to play the Restless Cottage. That's a good one. People might not have seen this. Enters the battlefield tapped, adds a taps to add a black or a green mana. Two and a black and a green. It becomes a 4-4 four, four black and green horror creature until end of turn, which is still a land. Whenever it attacks, create a food token and exile up to one target card from a graveyard. All right. I'd like to pass. Um, yeah, I'm going to fetch. Ooh, we're on the board. 19. <laughs> I'll grab a Temple Garden tapped. Two cards in hand? Yep. Okay. It's really upsetting that blue gets Mystic Sanctuary. And just like the other colors, I mean, you probably have Gingerbread Cabin in there, maybe. It's a land that makes a food. Mm. I'm not playing that one, I'm playing the Shire. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought, I thought the Shire was just better than Gingerbread Cabin, because Gingerbread Cabin, I believe, always ETBs tapped. Uh, you need three fours. Right, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a bigger ask. Not to say any of the cards in the cycle are that bad, but come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I mean, Healing Salve and uh, Ancestral, you know? Yeah. Tail of Soul this time. <laughs> so, draw. Well, that's kind of funny. And kind of unfortunate. I hear you're somewhat of a uh, Healing Salve enthusiast yourself. I do like Healing Salve. <laughs> I'm gonna play an Arid Mesa. Yeah. I'm gonna fetch more shuffling. <laughs> uh, oh, I cut right to it, kind of. Uh, scrub rail, uh, scrub land. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Black mana in your two color deck. No, 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 no. It's Wheeler. there's a death right. Uh huh. There's a death right. I, I a believe it's exiled. Oh, Grist. That, grist. that doesn't seem like a green white creature. It's it's a mono green card. <laughs> That's a green Sun Zenith card. All right. Uh, You're going to cast a Grist here? No. I'm going to put Mosswood Dread Knight oh. on an adventure. Uh, casting Dread Whispers. So lose a life, draw a card. Yeah. Oh, that was a good draw. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play an Ubisoft's GTA. I'm going to tap two and put the GTA oh on the Oh, my God. I'm going to attack. How big is it? Uh, with Exalted, instant Just land. instant land. So it's a 3-4. Oh, I'm so sad. These are both old ones. Mm -hmm. No blocks. Yeah. What are you killing? Your dorks. What are you killing? Your dorks. Oh, my God. Go ahead. That draw, Mr. Wheeler. It's not bad. Three mana. Yep. Tireless tracker. Yep. Trigger. Yep. That's a good. That's a good draw. Get Prismatic good Vista. Ooh. Okay. Make a clue token. Yeah, but next turn when you attack in, I lose my everything. Well, you're not losing your tracker. Aren't I? Uh, that's going to be attacking because it's a three four now. It's going to be attacking as a four five. Yeah, but you can sack a clue to get it out of. To make it a four three. And GTA. Oh, sorry. You mean I take the hits and yeah. then right or instead of or block with Samwise, some some number of things. Yeah, yeah. It still it still feels bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead. That I do not doubt. Untap. Draw. Combat. Yeah. Exalted trigger. So I'm going to. Just to give myself as many opportunities to not get blown in as possible. I think I'm actually supposed to crack the clue before, so there's not some weird priority fight of when I try and crack the clue with GTA stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm going to tutor right now. Mm -hmm. uh, go down to 10. I'm going to get a green source, basic forest. This also gives you the option. I mean, I don't know what cards are in your hand currently, but it gives you the option to draw potentially like a solitude. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you pass me another D6, please? Thank you. You can cut the deck now. No, that's fine. Okay. So a clue came into play. Uh, I'm going to crack one of the clues. I'm going to draw a card. Uh, I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter. Plus one, plus one counters need to be green. Yes. <laughs> I agree. On top. So that is attacking as a four, five. Yeah. We, we, is what we said. Uh, land creature instant. Yep. Plus exalted. Yep. 
So I think I'm actually fine taking four and then making you spend counters if you want to kill Sam. Sure. I'll go four. down to six. I'd like to spend counters to uh, yeah. kill Sam. Well, better than blocking and then, yeah. you know, because I have so many food that my life total is actually okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to play a strip. Yep. I'm going to hit the your cottage. cottage. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to cast Mosswood Dread Knight. Yes. From the Adventure Zone. Yep. And I'm going to pass. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Urza's Saga. Oh, God, I was so patient on the strip, too. <laughs> I had it in my opener. Another D6, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is a good way to get back into the game. Yeah, it's not terrible. Another D6, please. Another one. And another one. DJ. <laughs> uh... Still just a 4-5. You yeah. have no cards in hand. I have one card in hand. That's a 3-2? Yep. Uh, <laughs> just like... I mean, I can pass with all my mana up, but nothing looks weird, right? Yeah. Do I want to cast this, though? I think I do. Uh, three mana. Yep. I'm going to cast Mary, Warden of Isengard. Yes. Uh, partners with Pippin, Warden of Isengard. So this is an effect where I just get to go put it into my hand, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It also says, whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. So I could have sequenced it differently. I could have played this, then played the land, got the clue token, and did that. Yeah. Do you want to do that? I'm going to do that, actually. Okay. <laughs> DM you do that. Let's just say I do that. So I've got a 1-1 one, one creature token now. For whatever reason, I was like, no, it's it's fine if I don't. Uh, and now Pippin, Warden of Isengard, is in my hand. Um, and I'm going to tap, er, pardon me, I'm going to pass with uh, two mana up. End of turn. I'm going to flash an Endurance. I'm going to opt to Interesting. not Interesting. I was going to say, that seems, <laughs> yeah. seems kind of medium, actually. No, I just want a body on the board. I want some pressure here. You want a body on the board and some pressure here. Yep. Yes. Okay. Untap. This is a 1-4? It's a 1-4. Oh, that was a good one. Woo! Woo! What's with this man's deck? Woo! All kill or no filler over there, eh? Shadow Spear. That is a good one. I'm going to put the Shadow Spear onto my Tarm Ogoif. I'd like to go to combat. This is a problem. Uh, can I actually afford to attack with this thing? Do I want to attack with this thing? How does that change that box there? You can crack the food. So I think I'm just attacking with these three. You want to cut? Three, two, three, four, biggest? Uh, yeah, three, two, trample, three, four, and then a four, five, trample. Lifelink. Swords the plush. Oh, he's got the swords. Yeah, Oof. I'm gonna swords the goif okay. for starters. So I think you're gonna game this game. <laughs> I'm gonna 21. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the mana up. So if I double block and trade this, you can still go directly to adventure zone with it, which is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to trade my tireless tracker anywhere. So I think I just block block like that. Block like that. Okay. Three, two, one, four. Yeah. Sure. Uh, All right, so this will yeah. die. I'll gain a life and go to seven. Uh, going to tap two and put the GT on the Endurance. And I'm going to pass. Untap. Untap. Draw a step. Saga step. Mm. Got ourselves a bit of a tense game here. Yeah, that swords in the saga. It's pretty bad for me. Man, what do I even do here? You getting your GTA online is also really, really awkward. 
So my car constructs are huge, mm -hmm. which is kind of big. So I'm wondering if I even bother playing out Pippin here. So if I run out Pippin, it just dies. I mean, it does take your counters off the ground, which is maybe fine. <clears throat> like, mm -hmm. making you use all those counters is not terrible. And I don't think I can afford to attack here either. And you still do have the Shadow Spear. But when I make a card struck, they're going to be 5-5s, five which is incredible. So yeah, I am going to run out Pippin. Wait, is there any world in which I die? I'm just asking myself if I want to keep food mana up or if I want to develop my board with Pippin. That's mm -hmm. that's what it is, right? So I'm at seven and having the flexibility of if something weird comes through, like if you draw a Questing Beast, what happens, yeah. right? Uh, Questing Beast gets blocked by the construct, but then your GTA gets through, which is really awkward. GTA plus GTA plus um, Shadow Spear makes my blocks really awkward. Yeah. Uh, not playing a creature so that I have the flexibility to crack clues and food tokens. I think I'm actually not supposed to develop my board. I think I've got enough going on here. So I activate Urza Saga. I got a 1-1, one, one, so I have a chump blocker, which is awesome. I've got three blockers plus the construct. There's actually four blockers, which is a 5-5 five, five plus the other stuff. It becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I think I actually don't cast anything, and I just pass. Okay. Okay. This is a hard turn. <laughs> it's not that bad of a draw. Um, I think I'm actually going to start off by playing Skull Clamp. Yeah. Just drawing all the equipment. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to immediately clamp my elf and draw two. Yep. That's a good draw. Ooh. Just drawing all the equipment, huh? Lion Sash. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Savannah. I'm gonna play a Lion Sash. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to I do that, you just trade for that. That's pretty bad. I'm at 21. Um, yeah, the life totals is what made my turn hard. I'm going to pass the turn. All right, end step. We're going to activate Urza Saga. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a construct. Sure. Whenever one or more artifacts enters the battlefield under control, which a construct is, make a soldier. Uh, the construct is currently, construct is currently a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, end of turn, I'm also going to crack a clue yeah. to draw a card and put a plus one, plus one counter on Tireless Tracker. This is going to go down. Untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. This is gonna go to three. I'm gonna hold priority here and think about my life choices. Okay. That is a step. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah, uh, I am going to Yeah, I'm going to activate this and make another construct token. Sure. This can only happen once per turn, but that was the end step first. So these are both going to be five fives. Let me have another dice, please. Another one. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to make another soldier token. Uh, and then Urza Saga. Thank you. That You can stop. <laughs> No, no. Uh, Urza Saga is going to go get me an artifact. Mm -hmm. And I think I just want it to be a Moxin. More mana. Yeah, this deck is very mana hungry. <clears throat> Cracking clues should be free. <laughs> I agree. They, Thanks, Ben. They could be worse. They could be blue. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to go get the Mox Emerald, and again, <laughs> Mary Warden of Isengard only happens once per turn, so yeah. I don't get the value off of that. My only other hit is, like, Witch's Oven. Yeah. And I don't I don't love Witch's Oven right now. It's kind of hot with the Soldier Tokens, but I like hitting the mana. Yeah. It seems pretty important. Would you like to cut? Sure, why not? Awesome. These are both six sixes now.
Wait, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Can I even start attacking now? Next turn? <laughs> What's your hurry? Kind of. That's that's exactly my thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you. We have an interesting arms race right now. You've got the clamp, and I've got this. Yeah. So. It's interesting, you know. My kingdom for a treasure token. Uh, I'm gonna say go. And a turn. Yeah. I'm going to eat four permanents from your graveyard. Uh, would you like to specify? Uh, let me see what you got. Okay. So lands, elves, and a Samwise Ganji. Oh, well, the Samwise for sure. Uh, what are you this... beating them with? Oh, oh Lion yes, Sash. Lion Sash, yeah. So Urza Saga. Right, that's a reason to rush a little. Death Right and Cottage. Yep. Let's go with those four. Okay. Untap. I mean, I can just chump block that forever. That has Trample. Yes. <laughs> and I got the Shadow Spear. Right, okay. Trample. I can't just chump block that forever. You have how many cards in the end? Uh, four. Four cards in hand. But you're making your own goyf smaller, Wheeler. I know. I'm going to float a white, and then I'm going to clamp my noble with yep. a green, so I have a white floating. Yep. Uh, draw two. Uh, I'm going to use a green to play a Birds of Paradise. <laughs> clamp the bird. <laughs> I would like to clamp my bird. Draw two. Mm. Going to play a Marsh Flats. It's my land. And I believe I am going to put the Lion Sash on my Endurance. Okay. And I am going to pass. End step. I'm going to crack a clue. Sure. This is going to go to three. I'm going to draw a card. These are both going to go down to five. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to cast a Merry Doc Brandy Buck. Uh huh. Whenever one more half leans, you control attack a player. Wait, attack a player. <laughs> Would you like to? Sorry, I thought that was a different one. I was confusing that with Samwise. Sorry. Your deck is filled with cards that all have the same name. It's very, yeah. And they all look pretty similar. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, surely having like four cards named Mary or variations of it. <laughs> how many Frodo's you want, my dude? All right, how do I sequence this? Mary, Mary a doc, other Mary a doc. Had a little lamb. E I E I O. God, this is going to get obnoxiously huge. So I need to start developing my board. Boy, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. Woo! Woo! Soldiers are not halflings. Okay. I'd owe somebody a nickel. <laughs> and it was my parents. And they were talking to, their doc to the doctor about my growth as a child. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> well, this turn just got significantly more awkward. Okay. On account of um, thinking that was the wrong half lane. Not trying to land is really, really awkward right now. Missing a bunch of land drops. I got six cards in hand, none of which are lands. Yeah, you're really suffering over there. I, I'm not <laughs> feeling good. I think you've got more inevitability right now. Like, this grows faster than my board is growing right now. I've kind of stalled. You do have six cards in hand, and yes. you are an Abzan. Yes. I so, mean, you know. they're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm not saying that you, you know, your hand. How do I want to word this without sounding like too want... much of a jerk? Um, uh -huh. The likelihood of you having or drawing removal at some point yes. in time is yes. higher than for than it is for me. Yeah. Um, and much more of a blowout if you have it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We are going to start with. I need to make sure I tap the right mana here. Sam, nope. Frodo, Adventurous Hobbit. It's another Hobbit. Sorry, well, S Frodo gets Sam. Yeah. So Frodo, Adventurous Hobbit is a two mana, one three legendary halfling scout. Partner with Sam, loyal attendant. Yes. Uh, it has vigilance. Whenever it attacks, if you gain three or more life this turn, the ring tempts you. Then, if Frodo is your ring bearer and the ring is tempted you two or more times, draw a card. Can I save you potentially some grief? Sure. Are you planning on casting Sam this turn? I don't know. Okay. Well, I might recommend tapping that by you and leaving up a white source because right Sam i did tap double white yes thank you but yeah yeah uh go grab your hobbit go off king <laughs> now he's got no black you got him you got him no i got scrub land i got scrub land oh yeah yeah there, well there's that weird moment when you're like if you're not entirely certain what you're doing for a turn you leave your duels untapped but yeah there we go. Yes, this is the line I wanted because this makes me an artifact, which makes me another token, which makes everything bigger. Mm -hmm. So, I just couldn't remember which Sam this was. Yeah, it's one of four. <laughs> right? And you're potentially playing all of them? I think I am, actually. Would you like to cut? You okay. See anything. Three mana. I'm going to cast Sam Loyal Attendant. Yes. So three mana, two, four, partners with Frodo, already got it. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a fruit token, food, fruit token, food token. Fruit token. Uh, and activate abilities of food cost one less to cast. Yep. All right, I'd like to go to combat. Sure. I'm going to make a food token. Okay. I've made an artifact. Yep. I'd like to make a soldier token. Yep. I'd like to make all of these six sixes now. Increment your constructs. Technically, they're not counters. Pardon me. I'd like to update the static power and toughness based on my board there changing. There you go. I'm not going to attack. Okay. It is kind of tempting, though, to start trying to get in with the sand beats, but you're, you're go. All right, what are you doing? I'm fetching this marsh flats at end of turn to yep. find a basic planes. I'd like to exile three permanents from Probably the elf, elf, and then one of my lands. Uh, yeah, let's go elf, elf, and then wooded foothills. It's kind of wild to me that half of Surge's board is just the Lord of the Rings pre-con. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is and Commander deck. I think these cards, these ones are great. Yes. Like, yeah. they, they draw a card, and that card is always gas. Yeah. And they're cheap. You want to cut? You are fine. All right. Up to seven of these. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okie dokie. Draw. This is currently a 10 11. Yep. To make it an 11 12 trample lifelink GT. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a Horizon Canopy. Yes, you are. I'm going to tap two and I'm going to put Shadow Spear on my Endurance. Yeah, it's now an 11 12. I'm going to go to combat. Yes, you are. I'm attacking you with this. You have access to one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So it is currently an 11 12. It could be a 17 18. Just make sure I understand that correctly. Uh, if I exile six more permanents, which I have, yeah. um, then there's going to be 13 additional counters. So 16, 17, 18, trample lifelink with an Umezawa's Jite. 17, 18, trample lifelink with an Umezawa's Jite. And a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, sorry, Take these should be at sevens. Sure. So, because three, nope, that is just six. Sorry. Okay. Right, it's three. So this is 15. Mm -hmm. Losing my constructs suck. I don't even trade with that. This is 24 power, 23 toughness. So at the very least kills your solitude, which leaves you with one creature, which is not terrible. You probably arrange the blockers such that you kill these three, and I'm left with a couple, a couple of soldier tokens. Um, and then all I have left for an engine is this. Which is pretty good. Pretty dang good. 
Losing the Karnstrucks suck because that is the best case I have for actually winning the game. For reference, he would not just have one creature. Oh, well, sorry, the Lion Sash becomes a creature as well, but just one thing to equip to. One Voltron target. So there'd be two things there. God, missing a land there was awkward. So the issue is if I don't block with the Tireless Tracker, if you have any way to push through more damage, I just die. Yeah. Do I care about any of these? What is the ring tempting me even doing again? <laughs> it's been a while. There's like I get, it, I can get in there with the Frodo beats, which is kind of interesting. Like, do I throw Frodo under the bus? <laughs> Are you Smeagol? <laughs> Are you Boromir? Just let me remind myself what this does. Uh, your ring bearer is legendary. It can't be blocked by a creature with greater power. Yeah, I can get in there, right? Draw a card, discard a card. That's great. So maybe we keep Frodo around. You know what? Let me just do the math again. Take this your is, time. This is 15. And we said you're attacking for 17, 17, 18? If I, I have the ability to yeah. get this up to 17, 18. 17. 17 minus 15 would be I take two. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can find another five power. I'm going to gamble. Because I think it's I think it's necessary for me to have one more growth threat. Okay. So you're blocking with these three? Yeah. Okay. Well, I did draw the Berserk. No, I'm okay. oh, so... <laughs> I'm dead either way if you have the Berserk. Yeah. So, uh, so 6, 12, 15 yeah. that you have here. Yeah. And I have 7, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, yep. 14... 15. Okay, I only have two permanents on my side. Uh, so I'll exile those two. Yep. And then I will exile these two. Okay. Uh, so I go up to 11 counters here. Yep. So again, for everybody's clarity, that's 11 plus 3. So 14 plus this is 15. So this is a 15-16. Meaning that these will both die. This survives. And I yes. gain 15. You take... No trample damage. I take none damage. But you gain three life from your soldiers. Yep, I go to 10. I'm going to gain 15 life up to 35. And I get two counters on my GT. Yeah, all my creatures left over have more than two toughness, yeah. too, which is also something yeah. I was thinking about. Second main. <laughs> I'm going to cast a Finhorn Elf. Yep. And then I'm going to go down to 34 yep. and put a Skull Clamp on my Mosswood oh, Dread Knight. Okay. I am then going to pass the turn. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. God, where are my lands? In your exile. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That There could have been better delivery, but I actually found that quite funny to myself. <laughs> I dare you to him to Torak me right now. Loxodon? <laughs> <laughs> I got a Loxodon spider in my Incredible, hand. yeah. Uh, Should have played Wiltley if leave. <sighs> All right, Surge. All right, Surge. Okay, Surge. So if I do this... It's so big. It's very big. Why is it so big? This card is unreal. Yeah, Lion Sash. I mean, also the, the, the point at which you drew it in the game, too. God, if I wasn't mana screwed... I'm not even mana screwed, I have five yeah. mana, but I'm very resource starved right now. You are lacking the additional mana to make uh, either to double spell me yeah. or to build to the board in a way that lets you keep up some kind of protection or disruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My hand is great. Mm -hmm. I just don't have the ability to do anything with it. Yes. <sighs> Am I just dead next turn? 
It might be. Like, honestly. I mean, if this gets through, well, you got a bunch of life. Yeah. Yeah, but I need to I need to spend some mana to do some stuff here. Yeah. So let's just let's just start playing. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna cast Treebeard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Treebeard. Uh, when Treebeard enters the battlefield, I'm gonna make two food tokens. Okay. Uh, when an artifact comes into play under my turn, I'm gonna make a soldier token. So Treebeard is a four mana zero five tree folk with trample and ward two. When it enters the battlefield, create two food tokens. Whenever you gain life, put that many plus one plus one counters on target halfling or tree folk. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice a food. I'm yep. gonna gain three life. I'm sure. gonna go up to 13. I'm gonna put three counters on, I think it has to be Treebeard. I think this is my growth. Putting it on the ward creature seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. I would like to go to attacks. Sure. At the beginning of combat on your step, make a food token. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever Frodo attacks, if you gain three life or more this turn, the ring tempts you. So I'm going to attack with Frodo. The ring yep. is going to tempt me. Yep. Uh, I'm going to make Frodo my ring bearer. Sure. Do you want me to rip this token or do we have an extra ring? Uh, you somewhere? can just kind of like shift it up slowly. Like have it. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, yeah. All right. Your ring bearer is now legendary. Uh, whenever your ring bearer attacks, draw a card and discard a card. Sorry. Yeah. We're not there yet. We're not, oh, we're only at the first one. Yes. Yeah. All right. Can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. I'm attacking with a 1-3. Uh, yeah, I'll take one. Great. Does Frodo do any additional things given that you gain three life? Not yet. So it's if you gain three life, the ring tempts you, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. Then then if Frodo is your ring bearer and the ring has tempted you two or more times, draw a card. Okay. So great. we're not there yet. So next turn, uh, provided we get there, <clears throat> yeah. I get to uh, draw to discard one. Yep. Yeah. All right, I have no mana. Uh, this is my board. Let's see it, buddy. Sure. Uh, so you have... Five, five, eight, nine, 13, 17. I have 20 toughness. 20 plus... 21, one. and I have 13 life. 21. I got to deal 34 to you. I don't think this is happening, unless I draw exactly Berserk. Which, I mean, that would be a cool way to end a game. <laughs> Well, that's a cool way to end the game. Uh, I'm going to tap my Fenhorn Elves and clamp it. Yep. Uh, draw two cards. Well, now. <laughs> well, now, what do we have here? How much power do you have? Uh, six, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. I'm going to play an ignoble hierarch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put a skull clamp on my oh, endurance. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, hold on, hold on. Is this going to screw me? It might screw me. I'm not going to do that. DM, I won't do that. Sure. Uh, I'd like to go to combat. Okay. Uh, attack with the <laughs> endurance exalted. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 16, uh, it's currently a 16, 17. Okay, and you've got access to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hold uh, on, 16, 17. So 16 plus 6 is 22. 22, plus I have an additional 4 from GTA. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this much math, Wheeler. Uh, 22 plus 4, uh, which is 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, uh, plus 11 is 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay. So let me count backwards. Sure. 13, 21, 22, 23, 28, 28. That's how that math works, unless you have a combat trick. I think I have to keep this now. So you're blocking with this. <laughs> yes. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, tw uh, 13, 14. Is yeah. What you got here? Plus the one you would gain. Yeah. You got 14. I got games. 28, which is more than 26. Yes. Math checks out. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, 
I think yeah, we might... I'm, I'm just going to deal uh, the damage. Okay. I'm just gonna just go okay. To, so I'll I just go, go to damage. So I go to I gain one life. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no trample happens. <sighs> okay. Uh, so uh, that is uh, six fourteen. I block fourteen. And one two three four five. Uh, that's sixteen currently. So I take two. Sure. All not? right. So I was at thirteen. I go to fourteen. I take two. I'm at twelve. Great. Second main. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Just me and you hobbits trying to take down big bad Sauron across the table here. I'm the bad guy? Uh, well, actually, when I play what I'm about to do. You're about to ravages us? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I'm going to float... Wait, no, no. <laughs> white, white, green. I take one. Uh, also, I have two more counters on my G. Yes, you do. Now that's awkward because now my board is very vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, white, white, green. I'm going to cast Ravages of War. I'll, I'll scoop to that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was going to play my Locks Dog yeah. Spider. My, my hand was Lurus, Pippin, Peregrine, Took, Meridak, Brandy Book, and Duress. Ooh. Now, if I had mana. I figured you were sand. I actually figured you were sandbagging the Armageddon, but I just didn't have the mana to really clear for it. And I needed to. I needed to do stuff. This is another one of the spots. I don't know. My hand uh, was bloated contaminator Loxodon Smiter. Oh, so so maybe it was right. that You drew the uh, the ravages later. I just I drew the ravages that turn. Okay, so that I mean the hand attack doesn't help me there. That's fair. Yeah, <clears throat> that might have been the longest game one in the history of North 100. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. I, man, just drawing all these stupid half leans instead of land. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was cool to see the deck pop off, though, it's, right? It was so close. Yeah. It was right at that tipping point of being unstoppable, and I just, I just miss, I was missing one piece. I think you maybe should have been a little more aggressive with the car instructs. I don't think I can attack profitably when they're at six sixes. Uh, I think you had a moment where you could attack and at the very least just trade stuff. Because like your, because your lion sash was online basically the same point, and I don't think I could either. I, I think your lion sash just eats them, is if I remember correctly. That was my thought process at the time. You there think was there was a, a turn? There was a turn before the. There lion was sash. one turn where I could have gotten in. Yeah. That's fair. Who knows whether or not that would have changed anything? Sure. But, you know, just starting to get some pressure going. Yeah, on. something. Yeah. No, that's fair. Well, Armageddon's, huh? Pretty I think, <laughs> has, has every time that deck won, it's been off the back? I mean, obviously you're ahead anyways, and that's how Geddon works, right? It's the, it's, the, it's the closer. It's not the finisher, it's the closer. Yeah, I'm ahead on board, or at the very least, I feel like I can recover better than you can. Yeah. And then it's just... There hasn't, I mean, you haven't done a questionable Geddon yet. No. Which is like spoilers for people who haven't seen the other games yet. So. You don't question, well, the, the, real, the trick is you never questionable Geddon. That's if you're fair. getting it's not question if you're yeah. getting questionable. There there's some times when you're like, I need to slow the person down. Yeah. But a, I get a, you, I get you. Yeah, defensive arm again is like a defensive upheaval. Yes. That it could do a thing, but more often than not, it just doesn't actually fulfill what you're looking to do. Yeah. Ooh. Keep. Yeah, I'll keep. All right. Good luck, friend. Good luck. I'm going to start at 19, find a Savannah, cast a Delighted Halfling. Sure. The first Halfling of many. Uh, I'm going to play a Temple Garden Tap and pass. Slow down there, buddy. What, what's your What's your hurry? You're the one that played a one drop. <laughs> uh, Judge, he's rushing me. <laughs> My opponent's slow playing. <laughs> No turn one play. No, I kept a slower value oriented hand here. Well, I'm gonna slow it down a little too. I'm gonna play this Restless Cottage. Sure. Hit you for one. Oh, okay. You got the, the elf too. beats. Go to you. I'm gonna play a Misty Rainforest and yep. fetch down to eight 
13, and I'm going to play Voice of Resurgence. Oh, good thing I never cast Instance. Yeah, uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, basic Planes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast a Duress. Look at wait, target no. opponent's hand, choose a non-creature, non-land. That player discards that card. Oh, wait, I drew one for turn. Oh, I was so excited. Because my hand is land, land, werewolf, pack leader, scavenging his grist. Oh! And because it's not on the battlefield, yeah. it's not a thing. But I drew this March of the Worldly Light for the turn. So you do have a hit. Wait, why couldn't I hit? Because it's a creature. As long as it isn't on the battlefield, it's a creature. Oh, it gets around it. That's so yeah. funny. Well, I got your removal spell. Uh, grist is... Pretty good. A problem. <laughs> yeah. You're going to sacrifice Voice of Resurgence to kill my Delighted Halfling? I don't think you will. Uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, <laughs> go to you. <clears throat> I might consider it, though. Tight. 17. Okie dokie. I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs. I'm 17. Fetch. I'm going to grab a Bayou. I'm going to play a Werewolf Pack Cleater. 3-3, three, three, whenever it attacks, if I attacked with creatures with total power 6 or greater this combat, I draw a card. And then I can pay 3 and a green to give it base power and toughness 5-3 and trample, and it is no longer a human. It is a very good watch wolf. Very good watch wolf. Uh, and then I'm going to shuffle to second. I'm going to play my own delighted half. Oh, no. uh, go ahead. They're just a little guy. He's just a little guy, drunk off his rocker, having a good time. God, I wish that were me. Could you imagine how fun like a hobbit party would be? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. You think they know how to party? Oh yeah. I'm going to play a Verdant Catacomb. Yep. And I'm going to play, I'm going to shortcut here. Farmer Cotton, uh, X is equal to three. Yep, that one's pretty good. So I'm going to get a 16 here. <clears throat> I'm going to get a land, which is a bayou. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create X11 one, one Halfling creature tokens and X food tokens, where X is equal to three. So I get three one ones. And three food tokens. Can you grab me? What are they? Are they soldiers? They're, no, they're... white halfling. Yeah, yeah. Tokens. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I could use just the soldier token. Would you settle for humans? Probably. A little tall, but you know. We also have Kithkin. Kithkin are basically that. You can use Kithkin. There you go. I'll give it a, I'll give it a sec. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Uh, is oh. that a go? No, we'll pause. Oh, we're pausing. Well, because he's not there to run the card reader. Okay. It's going to be a quick, but... Yeah. I figure we don't pause unless Ben says pause. That's fair. My yeah. apologies. Great. It's too late now. Do you All want right. to uh, I'll keep the humans. Okay. You know, I like their vibe. Sure. Pass. It's a lot of vibe. That's a good card. Okay. Okay. Um, Becomes a 5-3. Yeah. With Trample. Oh. Go to play a Plains. Getting that card going is pretty good. Do I just want to trade my pack leader for, for three, three one ones? One -ones? <laughs> no, I don't think I need to. Not yet. I'm going to tap three and play Grist. Yep. I am going to tick up. Uh, so I mill a card. If it's an insect, I repeat it, and I make an insect. Uh, I milled an elf. So, no. Oh. 
So I just get a 1-1. One, one. Yep. And then I am going to tap 2 and play Scavenging Ooze. Yep. Then I'm going to pass. Untap. Untap. Could maybe make an attack with this voice research. Draw for the turn. That is a very good draw. No. Flooded Strand. Oh, God. Uh, first order of business. Uh -huh. We are going to Don't Assassin's you... Trophy Grist. Wing. Uh, second order of business. I've got a force. Uh, we're going to cast Sheodred. Oh, that is pretty good. So add one man of any color if it's a legend. So I got black, black, and then I'm going to crack this for a. Has to be a white source. Might have to shock myself here. I don't, oh, no, I have an untapped white source. Scrub land. Okay. This is not tapped. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. I pass. All right, I'm going to need you to cut me. Yep. Because if I rip this removal spell, it's on you, bud. <laughs> you know what? <sighs> okay. Yep. Uh, end of turn, I'm also going to activate my scavenging ooze yep. to eat this Elves of Deep Shadow. Okay, you gain a life, get gain a plus a one plus one counter. Yep. Yeah. 18, and this gets bigger. Uh, draw. I take two. Um. My favorite part of the Lord of the Rings is when Shia Dread showed up. They just started like chowing down. Yeah. I'm gonna play Sentinel of the Nameless City. Uh, I'm going to make a map token when it ETBs, or when it attacks. Uh, I'm going to immediately crack the map, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> going to immediately crack the map to explore onto my... Well? well onto my... Well, my <laughs> Sentinel itself. Onto the, onto the Sentinel. Yeah. So, hey, look, it's a Watch Wolf. <laughs> it's a Bronze Hide Lion. Yeah. I'm going to choose to put that in the graveyard. Here's a plus uh, one, plus one counter for Sentinel you. Sentinel gets bigger. Yes, it does. Synergy. Uh, oh, I tapped wrong. Uh, that's fine. But I am you going can, you can to... Stuff. Well, no, I have new information, okay. so I shouldn't. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, unfortunately, pass the turn. Untap. Untap. I'm going to draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. Game two. Just in case people were wondering why I didn't bring up Shieldred, I figure at this point you probably already know <laughs> who, what she does, but also I don't think this actually helps anybody yeah, it, at all. <laughs> reading the card explains the card, Ben Ben. Thank you for not jump scaring us, by the way. Like, I just, I'm sick and tired of looking at Shieldred. What you doing? Well, I'm thinking about this Restless Cottage. Mm hmm And I don't think it's very good if I attack you. I think it's actually better if I use it defensively. Hmm. Which is kind of interesting. So I think I'm actually doing nothing, which is kind of awkward. Love it. Love to hear it. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Delighted Half Fleen. Nope. I'm going to use the Bayou. I'm going to use this Savannah. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh-huh. To cast a Bird of Paradise. Okay. And then I'm going to pass. I'm going to eat this bronze hide lion. Yep. I'm going to gain a life. Yeah, like one thing I could try and do is use Restless, Restless Cottage to try and tax your... But you have the priority on that. Like you, yes. So it doesn't do anything, and then I end up trading down and losing a mana, so I don't like it. It's not great. Yeah. Uh, untap. Draw. Lose two. I lose two. It's not that bad of a magic card. Yeah. Yeah. You have one card in hand? I have an card in hand. Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, that's a problem. Rigor. Let's grab everybody's favorite magic card. Actually, hold on. I don't actually know if, if Gta or uh, Shadow Spear is better here. Gta is good Because I have a bunch of X1s, yeah. Yeah, I think I actually get Skull Claim. 
I'm going to get Clamp here. Clamp fuels my Scoos. It also lets me convert this insect into more cards. Yep. And it can let me push through for enough damage with one of these X, uh, like a five power creature here. Interesting. So I, I think I like this. Okay. Jite is a little more susceptible to you having removal, and then yep. I'm just like kind of at the mercy of the top of my deck. Yeah. Going to play a clamp. Yeah. I'm going to immediately clamp my bug. Okay, so draw two, take four. All right. Children. <laughs> I thought you just didn't care. No, I forgot about <laughs> children. Uh, do you mind if I Jite instead? Or do you want to hold me to it? I, You do you, my dude. <sighs> Hey, Ben, do you mind bringing Shieldred up on the low screen? <laughs> yeah. Just sure. so I can read it? Yeah, hold on. Uh, I know what this card Everybody knows what this card is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, oh, she that, says, that, oh, that Shieldred. Get you Get you Get you Stupid, God. All right, so back it up. Untap your white mana. Yep. I'm going to grab Umezawa's Jite. <laughs> I am then going to play Umezawa's Jite and equip my Sentinel of the Lost City Love with to see Umezawa's Jite. Love to see it. I would like to go to combat. It's going to attack as a 4-5? It's going to attack as a 4-5 with okay. Vigilance, and it's going to make a map token when I attack. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so I will attack with the Sentinel. Oh, I will attack with the Sentinel, and I don't think I want to attack with the Scoos, because if you do happen to have removal, it's pretty bad. But if you did have removal... You would use it at the beginning of combat. So four five. You could block all that. Maybe that's fine. You chump that, and then you just take it, and I'm that. I'm just going to attack with a sentinel. Uh, trigger. Yeah. Make a map token. I lose a lot, which is really interesting. So I'm thinking of like if I block with a restless cottage and a human token, you still get to eat two creatures, which makes your scoos bigger, which mm -hmm. is really awkward. Yeah. But. I don't really have enough board to deal with it anyways. Like, I could try and put Shudrin in the way, but then you finish it off, which is also really awkward. I could also do, like, this, which sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it does get all the X ones out of the way. And then one of them lives. 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 I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It's not great. It's not great. Depends on what's in your hand. Oh, it's not great. That's not great. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this block here? If I do block like this, then at the very least I can animate Restless Village. Oh, the cottage? Yeah. Uh, pardon me, Restless Cottage, and eat one of them myself. Yeah. Uh, I get a food token, but this isn't big enough yet. I mean, if you block there, your board just gets better. Yeah. It's an awkward spot. I do think it's better to block with all the X1s rather than just let you rapid fire them down. I'm going to block like that. All right. Uh, so I'm going to put the damage in uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Okay. So uh, your creature dies. Creature dies. I lose two creatures. Yep. Cheetah gets two counters. Yep. Uh, I'm going to use one counter immediately to kill Birds of Paradise. Yep. And then I'm going to pass the turn. End step. Uh, I'm going to eat a food. Yep. Go up to 20. End step. I'm going to eat a food. Go up to 23. All right. Draw for turn and go up to 25. Yep. That's very funny. Well, I got a big thing. Oh, no. Tree beard. Oh. Uh, tree beard is going to give me two more food tokens. Yeah. It's funny that I use the stuff there. All right, so the card that I didn't want to play, but maybe I play now anyways, uh, just because I want more mana, is Yavamaya. Oh. I don't like playing Yavamaya when you've got Scoos, because it just gives you more activations. Mm -hmm. But I've only got three hits there anyways. But it does let me immediately eat. Yeah, you can try. And make my tree beard huge. Yep. And I think that's close to worth. Sure. Because uh, then, if you eat three times and you equip, uh, this becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Ah, you got a plus one, plus one counter on there. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. We'll see what happens. Pass. Untap. Draw. Lose two. Lose two. 
play a uh, force. It's not a planes. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Uh, five. I am going to tap two mana, and I'm going to put Umezawa's Jite on my Scavenging Ooze. Yep. I would like to go to combat. Yeah. I'm going to attack you with my Scavenging Ooze. It's currently a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, creatures in your graveyard. Two? Two. So you can make it five. To be clear to the viewer, I have a Sentinel and I have a Grist, because Grist is in my graveyard, it's a creature. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to chump lock with a 1-1. One, one. Sure. Uh, damage. This gets two counters. <clears throat> uh, I guess I should map token first. I mean, I should have maybe map token before any of this. I'm going to... Oh, no, this is why I did it this way. Um, is because I... Do you get to draw a card to... when you attack with six? Or... Oh, you only attack this. Only when I attack with this. Yeah. But I am going to map token onto my werewolf pack leader. Okay. It's a land. It's a land. Yoink. And I did play my land this turn already. Go to tap three. Cast Bloated Contaminator. This is the 4 4 infect or toxic trample one? That proliferates when it hits you. Oh, big yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, go ahead. All right. End step. I'm going to crack a food token, mm -hmm. gain three life. Yep. Put three plus one plus one tokens on Tree Beard. Yep. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw for the turn. I'm going to gain two life. I'm going to put two plus one plus one tokens on Tree Beard. Yep. Pass. I'm going to exile the Bird's Paradise from your graveyard. Gain a life. Put a How high can this. you go? <laughs> this is going to be a weird one, Surge. <laughs> Lose two. Oh, I'm not drawing so hot either. I'll play a Mox Pearl. Um, you have two more food tokens. I have two more food tokens. So you can make that... You can give the tree beard sixteen plus six. Plus six, yeah. Does this thing have trample? Yes, it has tra trample and ward two. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Oh, ward two. Oh, I thought it had hexproof. Oh. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, you got man enough to kill it at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah, we've we've got we got lines so we can take. Yeah. Um, do I just want to throw my werewolf pack leader? down the drain for an additional card. That sounds not great. It's kind of like a skull clamp. <laughs> going to play Wooded Foothills as my land, yep. and I'm going to pass. End step. I'm going to crack a food token. 33. Uh, I need a bigger... Do we have a... I'm going to take this one. Sure. Uh, I think I'm going to stop there. Sure. Because I have some synergies later on, and I don't want to put all of my eggs into one delicious-looking tree basket. Draw a card. Gain two. Yeah, it's at 10. Gonna play this Forest Marsh Flats. Mm -hmm. I mean, similarly, like activating the Restless Cottage doesn't do much here. Go yeah. ahead, exile my entire graveyard. Yeah, how much? Two creatures you know? and uh, it'd be seven mana total. Uh, I'm just gonna exile the creatures. I'll, okay. I'll keep the other stuff for goifs and whatnot. Okay, you're at 14. Uh, go to 14. This gets two more counters. Uh, and I'm yeah. going to exile my. Two creatures as well. I don't think I play a regrowth here. So I go up to 16. 16. Yep. This gets a little bit bigger. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Untap. Which Grixis deck can draw their removal spell first? Grixis deck. Sorry, Grist Ix. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, right. Abzan. Sorry. What I say, Grixis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the Grist you joke have and I said. One Grixis. of the colors involved with that. <laughs> Hey, with hey, that shard. I, I was thinking Gris to make fun of Wheeler, and I said Grix... Yeah, never mind. It's gotten dire, Surge. I'm going to make Werewolf Pack Leader into a 5-3. Okay. And I'm going to attack with the bug and the insect. Because I'm attacking with enough creatures, this is going to trigger and draw me a card. Yep. I will, I will block the werewolf. Okay. I'll oh, just take one. Great. Yeah. 34. I'm going to play a wasteland. It's my land for the turn. Yep. I am going to then pass the turn. 7, 13. Uh, plus two. Right. So it can still block Treebeard. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm going to draw 
uh, gain two, put two more plus one, plus some counters on here. What do you do? So it's a Lord of the Rings card. Great. Uh, two mana. I'm going to cast, you're wrong, Astrid Perth. Path. Path? It's a, oh, it's a Doctor Who card. Uh, Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Two mana, two, two. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, create a food token. Brand new sky. Whenever you sacrifice a clue or a food, it explores. Ooh. So we're up to two there. Uh, do I want to explore right now? So if I attack with this now, this is a 12-17. I can make it an 18-17, uh, 18-23. Uh, but then I'm shields down. I'm at 36. Yeah, I don't know how shields down you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I attack with Treebeard. So currently it's, it's a 12, 12 17, 17 and you can gain 16, six life. Six more life. So you can bump it up to a 23 toughness creature. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Did I say 26 toughness? 17 plus 23. Oh, it might die. 23. 23. Um, I need to get to 23. I'm going to do the math. I'm good. Before we go to blocks. Yeah, let's let's count everything here. I'm right? going to exile this from my okay. graveyard. Yeah, that goes to 8. 12, 17, 23. I need to get to 23. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I am going to block with these. So that would be 23 exactly. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12, uh, plus another six is 18. Plus four is 22, so I have to throw in this. 23. So I'm blocking like this. Okay. I wonder if I attack too early. Well, no, I still have Shieldred. My board seems fine. I think you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Well, let's sacrifice a food token. Mm -hmm. So I gain three life. I put three more plus one plus one counters on here. And then I also get to explore. Yeah. So I reveal the top card. And it's only her explorers. I can't yes, explore yes. somebody else. Uh, it is a gaffer. <laughs> With a gaffer. So she gets a plus one either way. Mm -hmm. I get another, uh, you know, actually pass me that big one. Yeah, this is at 15. Yeah. And then I'm going to do that again. This goes up to 18. And you're keeping this on top? I'm going to keep the gaffer okay. on top. And she goes to two. All right, now we have to arrange blockers. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to do uh, Scoos first. Okay. So that's 10, 16. This has 18 power, and then I can do two more afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'll kill the Delighted Half Lane. Okay. Uh, before damage, I guess I will exile your Assassin's Trophy. Probably um, the rest do. No, because I don't have a sorcery in my okay. yard. Yep. Uh, I'm going to exile Assassin's Trophy, and I'm going to exile. I don't know. Misty uh, Verdant. Let's get the Verdant Catacombs. Yep. Damage? Yes. I, I have to use these counters. Yes, you do. Uh, so I'm using all the counters. Yep. So uh, this dies. Yep. Delighted Halfling dies. Yep. Treebeard dies. Yep. GTA gets two counters on it. Yep. Okay. Maybe I wait a turn there. I don't know. I have one food token left. Yeah. I'm going to cast... A Evans Pilgrim now. Sure. Pass. Take two on draw step. Play a forest. Uh, I'm going to tap two and put the GTA on my bloated contaminator. Okay. And I'm going to go to combat and attack with bloated contaminator. Uh, I will chump block with one one. Uh, this does have trample. It has trample. Yes, four four trample toxic one hits you proliferate. I feel like I made a mistake, Wheeler. Uh, 
I don't know. I feel Treebeard may, maybe was just supposed to get there. Um, I think I'm supposed to double block with Astrid and and Shiodrid here. Uh, you, I get to kind of trade up here, or at least trade evenly between the two of them. You only get to kill one. You do get GT I get counters. to kill both if you double block. Why? Because this is four and this is five, and I double pump this to eight. So I put oh, five on this, this yeah. and then two triggers, and I killed that. So the problem is if I just chump block, then you get four counters and you get to kill something anyways. I mean, then your GTA's empty. You'd have five counters. Because I can proliferate. Because you also get to proliferate. So you can just kill Shiodred. This is suddenly really awkward, man. Attack too soon with Treebeard. Should have done the math first. I think you could have maybe explored with Astrid first, just to see what's coming up. Yeah. Um, I thought for sure it was big enough that it didn't matter, which is, um, which was one point of toughness true. Yeah. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> uh, it's not great for I mean, you either way. So if I don't block, I just lose Sheadred. Mm -hmm. If I double block, you lose your creature, mm -hmm. um, and then it kind of resets your Jite a little. Yeah. Which is maybe fine. You only have one counter on it, but then I have no board left. You could take four, and then I can kill Shieldred, or I can kill Astrid. Yeah. I mean, I am at 39, so the damage doesn't matter. The problem is the Jite. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's honestly fine. Uh, no blocks. Okay. Uh, take four. Yep, I'm at 35. Uh, trigger, trigger, you, uh, I'm going to put two counters on this, and then proliferate, going to put a counter on this. You get a toxic, and now you're up to two toxic. Oh! <laughs> I, we could use this, uh, Sure, sure. I'll keep that green, just in case. I got two toxic. Wow, 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 Um, do I just kill, I think I kill Astrid here. Okay. I'm going to kill, yeah, I'm going to kill Astrid. Um, and then I'm going to pass. Untap. Or, sorry, I have a million mana. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to put GT sure. over on my yep. uh, Voice of Resurgence. Yep. Then I'm going to pass. I draw the gaffer. Oof. Which you know about. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast the gaffer. The gaffer has arrived. Big gaffs. And you get. I you gained gain two? two. No, I didn't gain two there, which is fine. Uh, so if I attack with Shiadrid, I kill this, you pump, you use a counter, it dies. I can't just be passive with the GT. I'm supposed to fight into the GT, which is very interesting. Uh, I don't have enough mana to activate Restless College Cottage and Papa Food to get the gaffer online. And I would like the gaffer to be online because I need card draw. Also, if I item a Restless Cottage, you just wasteland it, which is also not great. Yeah. Stupid GT, man. Should have should have made you keep that clamp. <laughs> Pretty good magic card. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am going to eat a food. Okay. Go to 40. 40. Yeah, if I attack, you just upgrade. Yeah. Uh, I pass. Gaff step. So you draw for the gaffer. Yep. And then you're going to gain, gain two another life two life from that. Yeah, you're up. Untap. Draw. Take two. You are at nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to put the GT on bloated contaminator. Yep. And I'm going to hit you. I'm going to take four. I'm yep. going to go to 38. Uh, this gets two counters on it. Yep. And then I'll put another counter on it. Yep. I'm going to go to four poison counters. Yes. Um, I am then going to kill your gaffer. Goodbye, gaffer. And I will pass. Untap, untap, draw for the turn, go to 40. <laughs> One of these days I'll draw a removal spell for the shieldred. Yeah, I hope not. Sweet Tooth Witch. Oh, yeah. Uh, enters the battlefield to make a food token. Uh, pay two and sack a food token. Target player loses two life. Okay.
Can I tap differently? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to animate the Restless Cottage. Sure. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Beginning of combat, I'm going to wasteland the cottage. Yep. No fear. Yep. Just get that. Let's just get it out of the get way. Get it out of the way, right? Force the issue. Yeah. Uh, still at beginning of combat. Sure. Do I attack with Shia Jod here? Shia Dread here? No, you just everybody block it and then finish it off. Uh, I pass. I might poison you to death. I know. Which is kind of funny. Yeah. Well, we'll see, right? You're at seven. Mm -hmm. You're going to need three turns. At this rate, I'm going to need fewer than three turns. I'm going to play Streetwise Negotiator. Is that the butt fighting one? It's the butt fighting watch okay. wolf, but yep. importantly, it lets me back up. So I'm going to back up the counter. You can onto put it on the, anybody. Yeah. Onto the bloated contaminator here. Okay. I'd like to go to combat. Yeah. I'm going to attack you with my 5-5 five, five, trample toxic one. I'll go to 35. Uh, trigger, trigger. So I'm going to put two counters onto the GTA. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to proliferate, putting a counter on here, a counter on there, and giving you two more I'm at toxic. six toxic. I'll play this Mox Emerald that I've been sandbagging, and I will pass the turn. Untap, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Draw two. This is an absurd match. Witch's Oven. <sighs> yeah. Pass. Draw and lose two. Combat. Mm-hmm. Attack with a bloated contaminator. I'm going to... No blocks. I'm going to take six. Okay. And go down to 31. Uh, pro proliferate. I'm going to give you two more poison. I'm at eight. Here. Right. 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 Where right. is the eight on this? There it is. Yep. Uh, this is going to get a counter. Yep. She said gets two more counters plus an additional counter. Yes. So seven in total. I'm going to cast Watch Wolf. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pass the turn. End step. I'm going to sacrifice a food token to dome me for two. Yes. I go to three. Okay. I'm going to untap. Okay. I'm going to go to draw step. I'm going to gain two life. Yep. Oh, shoot. Nope, sorry. Also end step. Sure. This sure. is important. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the human to make a food token. Okay. Yeah. yeah still yeah. end step. Okay. Untap. Draw a card for the turn. And then gain two. two. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice a food token. To make me lose? Two life. Two life. I go to one. Yeah. And you gain, or you don't gain three. I, I don't gain yeah, any yeah, life yeah. from that. Yeah. <clears throat> Does this work? I pass. Uh, end of your turn, I'm going to remove a counter to gain two life. Okay, you go to three. Go to three. Wait, three. sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Uh, can I respond to that? So if I respond to that and sack, you use two and you kill it. No. I can't. I can respond to you activating this to maybe kill your witch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ben's functionally got 12 life right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. I, I go to three. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to remove another counter to gain two. Yeah. I go to five. 
Yeah. I'd like to untap. Yeah. God, am I dead to infect here? I'm gonna draw. A oh card. man. Yeah, you're at three. I'm at three. Combat. How big is that? Uh, currently, it's oh, a seven. Oh, we can make it so big because of all the counters. Currently a 7-7, seven, seven. you can make it a 12-12. I'm gonna die to infect. You're gonna die I'm to infect. I'm gonna die to infect. You're gonna I die. thought I had the time. Yeah. That's sick. What a fun game. Holy. Oh my God, yeah. So, I mean, it might feel bad to the audience with conce the concession there, but I don't think there's a way no. to put enough toughness in front no. of it. Also, I'm looking at the weird shenanigans here of even if we, so if I put everything in front of it, here's yeah. another interesting thing. So, okay, I put everything in front of it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, this is eight toughness. Yep. So it just takes one counter to pump. Yeah. And then if I try and do some shenanigans of like, okay, so we got the pump there in time. Mm -hmm. I use Witch's Oven to try and sack Sheadred. Yep. And you can't lower its puffness, its toughness in response because that's part of the cost. Mm -hmm. That gives me two food tokens. Yep. But then in response to that, you can drain the witch. I can so in response to you sacrificing the shieldred to the oven, yeah. I can kill the witch. Yeah. And because now your creatures are no longer blocking my tramble creature, I'm guaranteed to get more damage. Yeah, but but also the, with the life total amount, because if you've pumped at that point and you've paid two less, you yeah. don't necessarily have enough life to gain up there. Like that's the weird angle we're playing there. I attacked early with Treebeard. If I wait one more turn, I don't. I think Treebeard just kills you. Yeah, you are in a spot where you're really strong defensively, and if I draw a removal spell, then I'm it's just, just dead. dead either way. I need, I need to attack at some point. Yes, but I don't think that's the right time to attack. That's so frustrating. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Whew. This is this deck is sweet. It uh, did little its food thing. pun. It little did its, food it, pun. It did its thing. Yeah. That's the important part, right? So I think I might be a little removal light. Uh, are you on like? Swords, Path, Fatal Push, Abrupt Decay. Assassin's uh, Trophy, Solitude, Trump. yeah. Yeah. I'm not I, deep, I'm playing all the good ones, but I missed a lot of stuff. I think I'm also missing some of the utility creatures like um, like Rexage. I'm just not, I'm not playing a lot, other than Sheodred, I'm not playing a lot of creatures that don't fit with the food package. Maybe right. that's a mistake. Maybe, I mean, adding like a Knight of Autumn or whatever is pretty good. You use the food engine to generate enough like value so yeah. that you can either draw into your answers or you can give yourself enough time to naturally draw into your answers. Yeah, so, it's it's yeah. neat. I mean, this is a V1 of this deck. Yeah. Which is an important thing I, to acknowledge as well. And I think it's it performs quite well. It did great. Yeah, the, I'm very excited about the this. The Lord of the Rings cards were not embarrassing. They were, in <laughs> fact, threatening. And yes. that's, that's all I wanted to see, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heck of a... That was so long, I forgot who brought us in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this extremely long match. Uh, I know we did, and certainly the people that need to use the studio after us. Uh, if you want more information on the format, you can check in the description down below, as well as the deck list we played, and you'll probably find a handy-dandy Patreon link to patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun, where all that support lets us do all of this uh, and pick up these weird Lord of the Rings cards. You know, that's that's not nothing. I've been Wheeler. I will still be Wheeler. Thank you for joining me, Search. Ben was on tech. I might actually be Wheeler this time. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. What Sorry that, to hear that. What does that make you then, the interloper? Uh, the premier lands pilot of the format. Good night, everybody. Yeah.